for you on Friday. What the hell happened? Yeah, I had to deliver supplies to the mission. Have you heard? Pastor Robbins has been missing for a couple of days. I told them I'll ask about. The white pastor? Mm. I'm not surprised. He's got a big fucking mouth. The mission's better off without him. The only thing that old bastard ever did was pass out flaky aspirin and maybe a round of penicillin if you were dying. Well, the rumor is the pastor's been treating wounded rebel soldiers. Really? That's what I'm hearing. Things are getting ugly over that way. Since when? Last week, the militias are battling for control of the area. It is impossible. What about Yaka Yaka Mine? Is the fighting scared of the miners? I don't know about the miners, but it's scaring me. I was just by Yaka Yaka. When I was there six months ago, it was a forest filled with noisy birds. Now it looks like God spooned out heaping mouthfuls of earth, and every stupid bastard is trying to get a taste of it. It's been over, Shari, but never like this. Not here. Yeah, no more talk. There'll always be squabbles, ancient and otherwise. Me, I thank God for deep, dirty holes like Yaka Yaka. In my house, I try to keep everyone happy. Hey, don't fool yourself. Hey, Professor. Are you worried about me? Of course, Shari. I'm a family man at heart. A lover. Baby. We could build a nice business together. I have friends in Kampala. Oh. I have friends in Bamako. Hey. I even have friends in Paris. The city of love. <laughs> you are a stupid man with a running tongue. And see, I have my own business. And I'm not leaving it for a jackass who doesn't have enough sense to buy a new suit. You are too proud and stubborn, you know that? This is a good suit, eh? But chic, eh? And so what if it's old? And don't pretend, Shari. Eventually, you have to grace me with a change.